this video, let us discuss about electric dipole and its cases. What is meant by an electric dipole? When two equal and opposite charges separated by a small distance, they constitute an electric dipole. Let us take two equal and opposite charges, minus Q and plus Q. They are positioned on an x-axis. One charge to the left of an origin and another charge to the right of an origin. And they are separated by a small distance of 2E. So, the electric dipole is defined as P vector is equal to plus Q R plus vector minus Q R minus vector. Where R plus vector is the position. Position of the positive charge from the origin and R minus vector is the position of the negative charge from the origin. So, the electric dipole can be written as P vector is equal to plus Q A I cap minus Q A minus I cap because plus Q is towards the right of the origin in x axis and minus Q is towards the left of the origin in the x axis. So that the electric dipole becomes P vector is equal to plus Q A I cap plus Q A I cap. So P vector is equal to 2 Q A I cap. So taking the magnitude alone P modulus of P vector is equal to 2 Q A. So this expression gives the electric dipole moment of two equal and opposite charges. Let's discuss the cases of electric dipole. Case number one, point on XL. Consider an electric dipole placed on an x-axis and a point C which is at the distance of R from the center of an electric dipole. So, the point C experiences two electric field caused by plus Q charge and minus Q charge. E plus vector represents the electric field exerted by plus Q charge that is radially outwards and E minus is an electric field that is exerted by minus Q charge that is radially inwards. So, the electric field on C due to the positive charge we can write it as E plus vector is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by R minus A the whole square. This is along BC. So as this experiences an electric dipole, this can be written as E plus vector will be equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by R minus A the whole square P cap. So similarly, the negative charge can be written as E minus vector is equal to minus 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by R plus A the whole square P cap. So the total electric field experienced by the point C is equal to E plus vector plus E minus vector which is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by R minus A the whole square minus 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by R plus A the whole square. Taking Q 4 pi epsilon naught in top common Q by 4 by epsilon naught, we will be getting 1 by R minus A the whole square minus 1 by R plus A the whole square. So Q by 4 by epsilon naught, let's take LCM A plus R plus A the whole square minus of R minus A the whole square. By, this is in a format of A square into B square. So we can write it as R square minus a square the whole square so which is equal to q by 4 by epsilon naught expanding this we will be getting r square 
प्लस ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू आर ए माइनस आर स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू आर ए द होल डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर द होल स्क्वायर सो डिलीटिंग द टर्म्स क्यू बाय फोर बाय एब्सुलॉन नॉट वी विल बी गेटिंग फोर आर ए बाय आर स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर द होल स्क्वायर so looking at the diagram we can see that the positive charge is near to the c so we can say that r is greater than a such that we can neglect a so neglecting a we will be getting the equation as q by 4 by epsilon not 4 r a by r to the power 4 so finally the equation becomes Q by four by epsilon naught. This four can be written as two into two a by r cube. We already know that two q a represents electric dipole moment. So the total electric field can be written as one by four by epsilon naught two t vector by r cube. Case two: Electric field due to dipole on equatorial plane. Consider a point C at a distance r from the center of an electric dipole, such that the point C is equidistant from both the charges minus q and plus q. So, as it is equidistant from both the charges, the electric field experienced by C is same. So the electric field is resorted to two components. One is the perpendicular component E plus sine theta and E minus sine theta. As they act in two different directions, they cancel up each other. And the parallel component is E plus cos theta and E minus cos theta. As they uh, act in the same direction, they add up one another. So, as I told before, the magnitude of the electric field is same. We can write that. E plus vector is equal to E minus vector, which is one by four by epsilon naught q by. Let's look at the diagram. So here it is represent always represent the distance between the two charges. The distance between two charges it can be along BC or CA. So BC is nothing but an hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. So, which is such that we can write it as R square plus E square. So, the total electric field, E total, can be written as E plus modulus of E plus vector cos theta minus E minus vector to cos theta. As we need only the magnitude, we can write it as Q cos theta plus Q cos theta. So. The total electric field is equal to two q cos theta. Substituting the total electric field in this equation, we will be getting the total electric field. E total vector is equal to one by four by epsilon naught two q cos theta by r square plus a square. We know that in the right angle triangle. Cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. So cos theta we can write it as a. That is the distance between O and plus Q. A by square root of R square plus A square. Substituting cos theta in this equation, we get E total is equal to one by four by epsilon naught two Q A by R square plus A square into root of R square plus A square. Thus, the equation becomes one by four by epsilon naught two Q A by multiplying these two, we will be getting R square plus A square to the power of three by two. So, the total electric field becomes one by Four by epsilon naught two Q A by R square 
plus a square to the power of 3 by 2. We know that r is greater than, comparatively greater than a, so that we can neglect a. Neglecting a, the total electric field is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. 2 q a by r q. So we know that 2 q a is nothing but electric dipole. So the total electric field experienced on an equatorial plane is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught p vector by r q. When an electric dipole placed under a uniform electric field the positive charge will move along the direction of the electric field and the negative charge will oppose the direction of an electric field. Thus, it constitutes a torque. So, we know that torque is equal to OA vector minus QE plus OB vector plus QE. So the torque experience is equal to OA is nothing but the distance between the center and A. So which is A QE sin theta plus this is A QE sin theta. Thus the equation becomes 2 A Q sin theta. We know that 2 AQ is nothing but electric dipole. Thus the torque becomes equal to P vector into E vector sin theta. So if we consider the magnitude of torque alone, torque is equal to P E sin theta. So the torque will be at its maximum when theta is equal to 90 degree and torque will be 0 when theta is equal to 0 degree. Let us continue with electrostatic potential and potential energy in the next video.